Pick your question, Philippines. <laughs> Philippines. Ooh, very good question. At what age do you think a child should be given access to social media? Since Chiao, Vietnam. I believe that social media can truly present itself very disparately but in accordance to how people use it. I believe that when a child is parented by their parents to practice responsible cyber citizenship in which he would know when to click, what to read, and who to trust online, then no matter what the age is, then it should be validated and should be accepted with the proper guidance. Thank you. Very confident. I like That's a lot of confidence. Yep. Very good answer. And the next country to make it on the list is Philippines. <laughs> Do you see why I asked you to take one and me take the other? It feels great. Yeah, it feels great. Now this, ladies and gentlemen, this is the last hurdle that will help the judges make their very, very difficult and crucial decision. We will be all asking them the same question, and each one will be given the standard 30 seconds to respond. As you can see, we have the gentleman behind them who will be putting on headphones on the remaining contestants so they do not hear the question and have time to formulate an answer. So, kindly put the headphones on. It's now call Philippines. What happened to the Filipinos? They, they're on mute. Philippines, same question for you. Hopefully you didn't hear it, but here it is again. An official at a recent climate conference was quoted as saying, there is no science behind the phase out of fossil fuels. Do you agree with this? Why or why not? As someone who is from the medical field, I do believe that everything roots from science. And I think that the greatest gift that we have in this generation is the sophisticated technical installations that we have. And so there is science in the face out of fossil fuels. But one thing that we can also agree on is we can always live the zero waste and a sustainable lifestyle. I've always been practicing it because sustainability will always ensure the stability in our future. And if we can master the transferability skills when the jobs face out, then we will have a greener and a more sustainable future. Philippines! Thank you very much! Miss Earth, fire! Is... Thailand! Congratulations, Miss... For your Miss Earth water, Make some noise, dig deep. Here in the beautiful Van Phuc City, it goes to Vietnam! With just one major title at stake. The world has waited for this moment. And just to be clear, we will be announcing Miss Earth 2023 first. Which means the remaining delegate will be Miss Earth Air. Your Miss Earth 2023 is... Yo! 
our myth to Earth Air is Philippines! Congratulations! We have found our Miss Earth 2023! It is Albania! And Miss Philippines, Miss Air, please take your step forward among this chaos that is ensuing on stage. Girls, let's celebrate later because right now, handling the crown for Miss Earth Air is Miss Lauren Shook. Right now is the crowning moment. Miss Earth Air, Philippines, please come right up. There's absolute chaos and pandemonium here on stage, but all in a great way, as they're all congratulating their Miss Earth 2023, which is Albania, and Miss Earth Air, which is Philippines.